And our last strange death we're going to talk about today was known as the Dancing Plague. The plague began in the middle of a hot July day in 1518. A housewife walked out of her home in Strasbourg, France, and randomly began dancing in the street. There was no music playing, but she felt compelled to dance as her husband watched in disappointment. She eventually stopped and went to sleep, but she was back at it by the next morning. This time a crowd began forming around her, and for hours on end she danced until her feet became bruised and bloodied, but she didn't care. She kept dancing as her neighbors came to watch. Slowly others began joining in. Her energy was irresistible. The dancing plague spread and soon enough nearly 400 people were dancing in the street. Days passed and people continued to dance as the summer heat came in brutal waves. It was so hot during those summer months that people began dying from exhaustion. It's estimated that up to 15 people a day were dying at the height of the dancing plague. They thought God was upset with the sins of the townspeople, so they shut down every brothel and gambling venue in the city, and they also banished all of the prostitutes. But even then, people still kept on dancing. So of course the city tried to outlaw music and dancing, but nothing could stop them. The dancing plague went on. After months of dancing, it eventually died out, and the party ended. When a Swedish physician named Paracelsus visited the town, he researched the plague, and he ended up blaming it on the women. They claimed that the first woman to start dancing was only trying to avoid doing house chores, of course. And that was his only explanation. Modern experts suggest that food poisoning might have caused the convulsions. Certain fungi might have contaminated the town's supply of grain, and a psychoactive chemical similar to LSD might have been digested by the townsfolk, causing them to trip and dance uncontrollably. 